everyone, and welcome back. Here at the, well, almost at the entrance, we're gonna use this uh, jump pad and activate the next world. Okay. If you want to place all the pieces into the picture, just press C. And for now on, that's the way that we're gonna be able to do it. Just by pressing C, all of the pieces will be placed. And now we have activated Clanker's Cavern. It's one of my favorite uh, levels. I guess I like most of them, really. They were all very well made, and uh, I think uh, this game has a, a really unique way of music. Since uh, you get into the... Like, for example, you dive into the water, the music keeps playing, only that it changes the tune. And I believe that's a unique thing about this game. But I guess it's uh, inspired by music, since most of the stuff are, are music notes and stuff like that. So here we have a, a Mumbo token. Let's go in. Yep. So, this guy says that there's only one move, but it's hidden well. <laughs> well, yeah, he can say that again. He's right. So let's go up here first, because, uh, well, it's not that we're not going to come back here, because we are going to have to come through here to exit the world, but we might as well just be sure grab all the music notes that we see so that we don't get confused like the last level. Here I have grabbed the first yellow feather, which is a technique that we're going to be learning uh, pretty soon. Uh, yeah, there was nothing down here. Uh, yeah, on this level we're going to learn how to use the gold feathers. That move is uh, very important. Alright, so we got the yellow guy. Yellow Jinjo. Let's go down. There's a lot of underwater water thing gonna go on in this level. So you could say it's a water level, but it's so different than the usual water water level of, uh, of video games. Here we have a character. Zzz, I am Clanker, which garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. Yeah, poor guy. We're gonna help him eventually. So, you know, this level, it is water, but it's, it's just so different, like, it's like a factory or something. <laughs> uh, let's grab this thing here. It's well hidden. ta -da! There's another one, I'll get it later on. I know from this uh, level, the two uh, pieces that we're gonna get. What I do first, instead of saving Clanker uh, in one shot, is to explore the surroundings underwater. Once I'm done with that, I'll help him uh, get to the surface again, and then explore the middle section, and then explore the top section. That way I won't get confused or about where I have been. And I'll get a better view of the place. Under here we have a couple of gold feathers. The thing about these feathers is that uh, since you can only hold 10, it becomes rather uh, useful since getting them is going to be very rare. They're not everywhere like the, like the eggs or the red feathers. So, we're gonna have to save those as much as we can. So it would be kinda... pretty bad if all of a sudden we reach a level where we need the golden feathers and not have them. It would be very, very bad for us, so... We gotta keep an eye open. So let's explore the holes down here. Always take a breath, cause uh... There's one particular hole that it's very long. I actually remember once drowning down, down in these pipes. <laughs> so there's just one that is very long, 
and then you have to go back through the same way without any uh, breath. Oh wait, this one is, uh... yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it was the beginning, I didn't notice. <clears throat> yeah, this one is the one that I was talking about. You can't get out uh, from the other side, so you have to go back. So you gotta take as much uh, air as possible. And then go down there and be very quick. I guess I, I did almost drown once on the practice run. Because I forgot about it and I just went here without taking a breath. I almost drowned. I had only one uh, air thingy left. I see. We're almost there. Got it. Let's get out of here. The only way to balance yourself out underwater is to pedal with your feet so you can turn around quickly. If you try and do it with Kazooie's uh, swimming, it's going to be rather hard. You might lose control of your character. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> For those who are playing, that is. <laughs> okay, I guess this room is familiar. Yeah, it's that room where those freaks are. <laughs> I guess one of them is gonna talk now. Snippet mutants are we, Jigsaw. It's ours. Fight us. You must. Yeah, they do say Jigsaw, so... <laughs> yeah, I've been cutting comments lately that it's not Jigsaw, it's Jiggy. That's their character name, but I just refuse to acknowledge them as characters. I, they're just Jigsaws, you know? They only talk twice in the whole game, and, you know, even the music notes only talk once, so, whatever. <laughs> Alright. This beaten snippet mutants are we, yours is price. Oh, thank you. Let's get this one. Get the hell out of here, this room is crazy. Makes me feel weird. Yahoo! Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and, and a couple of days ago, like one day, I think it was yesterday? I can't remember. Anyways, I started Banjo Tui. Not far from the beginning. Uh, but I'm surprised they kept the, the stuff from the first one. It was kind of awesome, because I believe that if you do a sequel to a game, it, it, it would be really nice if you keep your, you know, the same stuff as the first one. For example, I thought it was brilliant when they did uh, uh, God of War. When you play God of War 2, you happen to have all of this stuff from God, God, of, uh, God of War 1. Or got a war. Only that the storyline makes you lose your powers, and it kind of makes sense, if, you know, when you think about it. So, uh, that way is kind of cool because you start off as you left off, but all of a sudden, in the storyline, you kind of go back to square one. So. That made sense, and it was kind of cool. And the same goes for Banjo too. I thought it was uh, really cool that it is a, a sequel, you know, and it respects the stuff from the first one. And that's kind of rare, huh, you know. Sometimes sequels just are totally different games, and characters are reset back to, uh, you know, weak characters. So it's not really that cool. But you know. I guess I've explored uh, most of these places. Yeah, I think I got all the holes, so I'll see you guys on the next part. Thank you for watching. This has been Uzumachi. Take care. Bye-bye.